Hello, this is Jo from Math Tutor Me. Today we're doing algebra and we're looking at rules and tables. So if we look at the first example, it says consider the rule t equals m plus 4. Now a rule is just any equation that compares two different pronumerals. So we need to know what those different pronumerals are, what they mean. So it says down here, what does M stand for and what does T stand for? Now the diagram here is going to give this away for us. So this says M matches and it's pointing at this box here. So M actually stands for the number of matches in that box. So the number of matches in a box. Okay, so if I have an equation that says t equals m plus 4, okay, so the m was the number of box, the number of matches in this box, and I have four extra matches over here, t must stand for the total number of matches. Okay, so now that we know that, we can use the rule to complete the table. So if I have m is equal to one, I have one box of matches. That would mean, or one match in each box I should say, I can substitute one into this equation for m, and then I need to add four to work out what t is. So if m is 1, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, now let's go to the second spot here. Now it's saying that m is equal to 2. There are two matches. So I put 2 into this formula here for m. So it's 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. Okay, now I want to put in that m is equal to 5. So in here, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Okay, now we're reversing things. We're given the total. We want to go backwards and think, what would m have been if I have a total of 12? So if I have 12 matches in total, that's the t, I would need to do the opposite thing to work out what m was. So I would need to subtract off this 4 here. So if I started with 12, I subtract 4, I'll work out that this should have been an 8. And you can check that by putting the 8 back in. 8 plus 4 does give a 12. Okay, so you do the opposite. So for the plus 4, the opposite is to subtract the 4 to work out what this was. So 19, if 19 is the t here, I would need to subtract 4 to work out m, which would make that 15, because 15 plus 4 does make 19. Okay, so you're going to see some questions where you have diagrams and you can see what the m and the t or other, other letters stand for, but for now we just want to practice using a rule to complete a table. So question two, I have a bunch of these here where we just want to take the rule that we're given and use that to substitute some values in to, to complete the table. So let's do it. Question two, use the value the rule to complete each table. H is equal to 3K is our rule. So we're given all these values here for K. We want to substitute them in one at a time. So k, first of all, I want k to be equal to 0. So I put 0 in here for the k. Now that is actually multiplied. When they're next to each other like that, that means multiplied. So I need to multiply 3 by 0. 3 times 0 is still 0. Let's try the next value for k. k is now 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. All right, k is now 5. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 
Let's do seven. Three times seven is equal to 21. And lastly, 10. Three times 10 is equal to 30. Okay, for B, we have a new rule. We're told that B is equal to four minus A. And we're given all these different values here for A. If A is equal to zero, we put the zero in our formula here, our rule. So it'd be four minus zero. Well, four, take away nothing, is still four. Let's put the one in now. Four minus one is three. Let's put the three in. Four minus three is one. Put the four in. Four minus four is zero. And lastly, let's put the six in. Four take away six, we actually have to go to negative numbers because we're taking away more than we have, is a negative two. Okay, this rule is getting a little bit more complicated. For C, our rule is y equals two bracket x plus seven, close bracket. So if you're doing this without a calculator, you want to pay attention to your order of operations, which means we need to work out the inside of the brackets first and then multiply by two. So these are our values for x. Let's start with x is equal to one. If x is equal to one, first of all, I have to add the seven, okay, which will make eight, and then multiply that by two. Two times eight is 16. Now let's put the two into here. Two plus seven is nine. Nine times two is 18. Moving on to three, putting three into here. Three plus seven is 10 times by two is 20. Putting five into here, five plus seven is 12. 12 times two is 24. And eight into here, eight plus seven is 15. 15 times the two is 30. Okay, so that's it for our examples today on using rules and tables. Time for you to practice. So here is four questions where I give you the rule and you just need to fill in each table. Okay, don't be alarmed by question number four. It's just, it is the same thing. It's just that the table is going down instead of across, but you're going to be doing the same thing. I said pause the video, give these questions a try, and then restart to see the answers. For question one, our rule is D equals F over or divided by two. Okay, so we start here with some F values. If F is equal to zero, zero divided by two is zero. If I put two into here, two divided by two is one. Now let's put eight into there. Eight divided by two is four. Okay, now for this one, we're given a few D values where we have to work backwards. We have to think what could F have been. I have to have something divided by two to give me an answer of five. Well, 10 divided by two gives five. So that would be a 10. And for this one, I need an answer of 10 here. So something divided by two gives an answer of 10. I would have to start with 20. And 20 divided by two would give 10. All right, question two, our rule is y equals three x minus five. So putting x into here, the value is zero. Three times zero is zero. Then I have to subtract five from that. Zero minus five is minus five. Okay, let's substitute in three. If x is equal to three, I will have three times three. That's nine, nine minus five is four. Let's substitute four in there. Three times four is 12. 12 take away five is seven. Substitute seven into there. 
3 times 7 is 21, and 21 take away 5 is 16. And 10 into here, 3 times 10 is 30, 30 take away 5 is 25. Question 3, G is equal to W plus 2 divided by 4. Now, for this question, you have to add the top together first before you divide by 4. So let's try that when W is 6. If W is 6, we have 6 plus 2, which makes 8. 8 divided by 4 goes twice. Let's put 10 into there. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 14 now. 14 plus 2 is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 26 into here. 26 plus 2 makes 28. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. And 38 into here. 38 plus 2 is 40. 40 divided by 4 goes 10 times. All right, now for our question 4, m is equal to 10 minus 2n. So as I said, the table is just going vertically, it's going down instead of across. So our n first n value is 0. So 0 needs to go into here, and we need to do the multiply before the subtraction. <clears throat> so I need to go 2 times 0, which is 0. Anything times 0 is 0. And 10 minus 0 is still 10. So m is equal to 10. Let's do it again when n is equal to 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So this is going to be equal to 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. Question 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 10 take away 6 is 4. And for question 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 take away 10 is 0. And 9, 2 times 9 is 18, 10 take away 18 will make a negative 8. Okay, that's it for our questions today. Hopefully you got those answers. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time. Bye.